All week long, we're focusing on the top financial scams plaguing Americans. Yesterday, we told you about identity theft. Well, today we're bringing in Phil Catlett with the BBB to talk about the top ways people are getting ripped off right around here. And you know, it's it's amazing. You know, everyone hears about all these different scams, but sometimes there are ones out there that we just have not heard about. What are you seeing? We had the benefit of Scam Tracker, which is a crowdsourced, right. uh, and we had over 30,000 records uh, in 2016. And they did a, a new algorithm and analysis to find which ones were actually the most risky for the general public. And believe it or not, number one was home improvement scams, which the timing right now is excellent to warn people of in course. our area. Because this is the time when everyone's going to go ahead and start doing those home improvements. Spring is here and it's the time. Right. And the most money has been lost on home improvement scams. And those are people coming door to door, offering you something thing that they act they ask you to immediately take action on and they say that the only way we're gonna get that deal is right now mm -hmm. so please take this yeah. excess uh, material that we have so you always want to check into the background so the most money has been lost on home improvement scams number two fake checks and money orders you've probably gotten some I know I have <laughs> and yes <laughs> they run rampant don't they they do and they seem to run in streaks sometimes mm -hmm. and we get people who bring in stacks of them into our offices but it's it's a case where they're giving you a fake check uh, for a lottery, for something you're trying to sell online, whatever it is. They're just telling you you need to pay taxes or a processing fee. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. By the time you realize that the check that you deposited in your account was no good, you may have bounced a few as a result. How yeah. frustrating and would that be? Number three, and probably essential right now for a lot of our younger viewers, employment scams because they're putting jobs out on Craigslist, they're hanging them on signposts, they're putting them in ads everywhere. And when you give the information about yourself to apply for a job, you're opening the door to any number of problems, including identity theft, with the information they've been able to rip off from you. Yeah, and we've actually done stories on that right here. Our target eight investigators have seen plenty of those employment scams out there. Yeah. So now, what about um, age range with the victims? How do how did we get targeted differently? Interesting to find that men are more vulnerable to scams than women. Really? Yes, and. Uh, men are more likely to lose more money than women. <laughs> oh, no. Bad news out there for, <laughs> for But the male. real shocker out of this, in my mind at least, was that young people actually scored higher in being vulnerable to scams than older people, because we usually hear about seniors right. falling prey. Exactly. But they don't have as much money to lose yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, so you can look at it that way, too. Right. So, so the most money was lost by older men because they're willing to take a risk. They don't want to admit when they're embarrassed about something. And the greatest losses were older men in terms of the actual dollars lost. So what's the overall takeaway then, Phil, when you have these scams out there and we're seeing what, you know, who's being targeted and what's happening, what would you say the message should be to everyone? Take a few minutes to think about it, to understand what's really going on. And if you have a friend, someone you can consult, talk to them. If you don't have someone that you can rely on, go to BBB. We'll help you work through it. We have operators on all day long talking to people, talking them out of losing their hard-earned money. Right. And again, if it, if it seems too good to be true, it most likely is. And the, <laughs> and the criminals are getting more and more clever in finding sure ways are. to pull it out of us. They sure are. Phil Catlett with the BBB, thank you so much. Thank you, Marley.